What's up guys, it's Metal Age Gamer here. We're playing Train Simulator 2014. This is going to be our holiday or Christmas special, I should say, as you can see by the background. Very Christmassy, a little dark, uh, but very nice looking. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and do a special route here, and I'll show you here in just a minute. It's called the Holiday Express. You're basically driving a, a toy diesel train around a uh, room or a house. And it says take Teddy on a ride around the room to check out all is in place for Christmas. Uh, so basically, there's five scenarios. I'm going to try to go ahead and run through all of them. Hopefully, I have enough time on one video. Let's go ahead and get to the first one. It says all is quiet. All right. Everyone has gone to bed excited. Tomorrow needs to go without a hitch. Patrol the room. Make sure no mice have taken up camp behind the sofa. That the fire is burning safely and no scattered embers. And finally, that all presents are correctly placed under the Christmas tree. Let's go ahead and get into it. Definitely a lot different than uh, what you would normally see in Train Simulator, even in my videos. But this kind of reminds me of the old Micro Machines video games. Right, let's go ahead and get into it. There's just basically a reverser and a throttle and brake. And the one thing you got to kind of keep an eye out for is make sure you're not speeding into the turns because you will tip over really easily. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slow down for the turns and then I'll speed up on the straightaways and hopefully have enough time to break. Going around looking for mice right now. I don't see any. It says everything seems to be in order. Teddy's just kind of hanging on right there in the back, which is fine. Let's go ahead and start braking. Going a little fast right here. Ooh, ooh. And if you're definitely, see, it's, I'm afraid I was going to go off the rails right there. I've done it many, many times. Mostly by accident. Pretty cool effects. I mean, you got the, uh, the glow from the fireplace and everything. You got toys laying around pretty neat definitely something different just gotta be careful right here because it does go downhill into this turn switches here and it looks like we have to stop at the Christmas tree coming up let's go ahead and get down to 30 miles per hour as the sign says right there go ahead and speed up just a bit right here as we go by the Christmas tree with all the presents right here. Nearly done, says so come to a stop in the middle of the marker to finish the mission. Let's go ahead and stop. I don't think it matters if you're in the middle or not. Teddy Bear looks like he's having a lot of fun right there. And we're riding the Richie Rails RR. My real name is Robert, so it's uh, very fitting. Alright, so that's it for the first scenario right there. Of course, we didn't get any, any XP because I've already done all these scenarios. Next one is Red Hot Wheels. Let's go ahead and get this one loaded up. It says, time for some fun. Race up the table to survey the room. The clock is ticking. I'm sure it is. I'm definitely afraid. This is a passenger train, it looks like. Room is safe and sound, so now it's time to have some fun. You'll get a great view up on top of the table. But the night is passing fast, and there's still a lot to do. How about a little race? See how fast you can get to the top of the table. Okay. So basically, we're going to the top of the table, which is pretty cool. And it uh, looks like we have some passengers with us. Let's go ahead and get moving here. Let's 
make sure we're doing 40 under 40 miles per hour you can see the train definitely wants to tip even when you're going near that speed just looks like it wants to fly off the tracks going to slow down just a bit All right, heading our way to the table right now, as you can see. We can pass by some soldiers, some blocks. All is very exciting. Let's go ahead and break going this a little fast here. All right, it says stay steady. So I'm going a little slow here. And we're going on the floating track right now. Bit scary. Just gonna watch my speed again. Try to stay uh, steady without going too fast or too slow. Good view of the room right there. You can actually see the snow outside with the snowman, which is pretty crazy. Let's probably hurry up just a bit. Right, and if you guys can see, I got my uh, my Chelsea jersey on from the game yesterday. I always have to wear it during game day. Of course, I'm still, of course, wearing it the next day, which is kind of gross if you think about it. Unfortunately, we didn't win. It was just a draw, but uh, I guess that's better than losing. Kind of a boring game against Arsenal. I was expecting a much, much better game. Not sure if any of you guys are actually soccer fans out there, but that's my team, and I'm sticking with them through thick and thin. And pretty surprising, I don't know if anybody watches the Barclay League or not, but Liverpool is in the top four, which is absolutely insane, and they've, uh, they've been a blast to watch this season as well. But I never thought they would even be in the top four, so that's a bit crazy. I think uh, Suarez is number one in goals, which is pretty insane as well. All right, so that was it for that scenario. We're just running through these pretty quick. Next one's going to be presents under the tree. It says the last two presents must be added to the pile under the tree. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this one. Luckily, this loads relatively quickly. We've got some presents attached. Bring them the Christmas tree with other presents where they'll be safe. Blah, blah, blah. Let's go ahead and get into it. And if you guys are watching, please, please go ahead and subscribe to my page if you haven't already. Uh, feel free to make comments as well. It is Christmas time, so I'm pretty uh, interested to see what everybody got out there. I bought myself a PS4 and got a nice watch from my wife. So I'll be playing some PS4 games here in the next day or two. I wonder if I can still do 40 miles an hour around these corners or not with these big old presents. Passing by the mouse trap right there. barely see the train. That, this is a, definitely a tall load for this little train.
seems pretty similar to the first scenario where we're just going around the exterior of the room towards the Christmas tree. I don't really see anything different. I don't know. I, th I think this is pretty cool. I think they could have done a lot more with it, but uh, considering it's not actually a game, uh, it's not half bad. And getting pretty close to the Christmas tree, which I'm assuming is going to be the end of the scenario unless they throw curveball at me. Oh, need to slow down. Doing over 30 right there. And should be taking a left right here. Actually, it has us going right this time. That's a little different. flashlight right there. Nice lighting effect. And let's go ahead and stop at the Christmas tree here. Not sure if that's going to be it for the scenario, but that uh, definitely seems like that's the end right there the end of the time but not the end of this video so I mean from what I see on my other computer it looks like that's three scenarios in 12 minutes which is definitely fast maybe I should do a speed run and post it on YouTube and see if anybody can beat it just kidding uh, next one's gonna be milk and cookies some soldiers have taken the cookies to the bookcase go and get them back those bastard soldiers Cookie's milk have been left out for Santa, but uh, Temptation has gotten better of some of the toys. The soldiers staged a coop and have liberated the cookies for eating later. It's up to you to get them back. And it's shown us, oh wow, so I guess we're going up, up, all the way up there to get our cookies back. Looks like it's just the locomotive this time. And I guess we're on top of the table right now is what it looks like. Stop at the bookcase. Okay. I guess I have to go forward. This seems kind of counterproductive. Should I be going backwards or not? So it looks like we're on top of the table. We're going to be going down it. Hopefully I don't tip this thing. Gonna kind of pump the brakes as I need to. The problem with this train, there's not a whole lot of control. Oh, oh, I'm going too fast right there. That's a bit scary. I should have probably tipped over right there. Again, not good control. It is a toy train though, so how much can I really complain? pick up the pace right now. Stuff smoke, it's a toy train. It has smoke coming out. It's definitely strange. I 
have no clue where we're going right now. Because we're going up here shortly. Looks like we're going into this little hole in the wall where the mouse is living. I think it'd be pretty funny if it just jumped out and scared the shit out of everybody. I didn't see what that said when 40. It looks like we're in the walls, which this is a pretty big wall if that's the case. Maybe the attic space. Really steep incline. basically flooring it right now. It's barely going up in speed. Let's slow down a bit for the turn. And going up another incline it looks like. Still can't get over the uh, smoke effect coming out. Do I have a horn? That's a good question. Oh yeah, I do. I think someone's going to comment on the video. You're not supposed to blow your horn there. Well, fuck it. I'm going to blow my horn where I want to. This is one scenario where I can do that. The excitement. I'm just glad I got off from work. Spend it making videos or spend my time making videos for you guys out there. Almost feels like a second job, except I love playing video games. I don't like editing the videos so much, but uh, that comes with the territory, I guess. Go ahead and slow down. It looks like the soldiers are right up here. Let's go ahead and stop right here at the edge and see. Wish I could just push them off. It's pretty crazy though. Let's get a quick look underneath. You usually don't get to see that in the other scenarios. Alright, congratulations, you found them. The soldiers will get a stern reprimand from the Sarge. So, wow, that's uh, four of the five scenarios. Let's go ahead and do the last one. Hopefully, I don't fell it or tip over for any reason. It's definitely a possibility. The mantelpiece is looking a bit empty. And a warm Christmas message would be the ideal greeting for when the family comes down in the morning. A symbol of blocks so they spell out Merry Christmas, then drive up to the mantelpiece. Alright, so are we actually going to be switching tracks? I think we probably are. A symbol and haul the Merry Christmas train onto the mantelpiece. Make sure it's the right way around, though. Okay. So obviously, this is M-E right here. And how do you spell Mary? We have to add that one next afterwards. So let's go ahead and uh, get into this. Not sure how hard I have to hit these. Oh, oh, that does not look good at all. Okay, that didn't work. Maybe that works. There we go. Going back out just 
just a bit. And let's get past the switch right here. Okay, let's get into the switch menu. That's what I'm going to call it, switch menu. Not sure what it's really called. Go ahead and reverse and let's go back here. Looks like we have to go back to the first track afterwards because I see an H right there. I go too fast into it. Okay, let's try going a bit slower. Alright, I think that definitely got on there. Hopefully. There we go. Gotta go back to the first track and then the middle track, it looks like. Definitely a pretty crazy looking train, if I do say so myself. Pretty neat. They should have done more scenarios like this, in my opinion. It's actually relatively fun. Right, let's go ahead and reverse. be quite a long train once it's all said and done. Again, train's a bit hard to control. There we go. Let's go ahead and pull back forward. get back into track menu, make sure we're going on the right track. Alright, now we can drive to the mantelpiece. I'm just going to do a quick check on where we're going. Go via the mantelpiece. I, I wonder if we have to change tracks anywhere. I'm assuming that we do. So we're going around here, coming down. Uh, table. I think we have to go up the table. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, we do have to go up the table, so we do have to switch right there. And that should take us up the table and via the mantelpiece. I'm glad I checked that. At least I remembered one thing from the last time I played. I think the last time I just went in circles wondering why the hell I wasn't getting to the end. So, need to be a bit careful, obviously, with this load. Take the turns just a little bit slower. I'm assuming I could probably do 40 when it says 40, but better to be safe than sorry. Gonna be going around the Christmas tree right here. The excitement, get to uh, set up the Merry Christmas message for the kids when they come out in the morning. I just hope I switch to the right track. Just want to thank you guys for joining us to the, on the Richie Rich Rails, where we carry blocks around like bosses. Definitely slowing down and taking off a lot slower with the extra weight 
because we know those blocks are super heavy. Alright, there's our switch that I made right there. And this should bring us up the table, hopefully. I know we're going the wrong way. Let's go ahead and reverse. It's supposed to go up that table. At least I think I am. It's been a, a while since I played this scenario. Pretty sure it's supposed to go that way. There goes my speed run. Jesus. Alright, let's get back into the graph right here. Where am I at? Yeah, definitely supposed to go up. Now we're heading the right direction, as you can see. That's what I want to do right there. I'm pretty sure the first time I played this, I just went around in circles a couple times, wondering what the hell was going on. Until I figured out I had to switch the track right there. Here comes the dangerous part going up the table here. I'm just going to keep it as steady as possible. Looks like 61% throttles keeping me right where I need to be. Let's take a quick look back. Oh yeah. Definitely a steep incline. That snowman is creepy as fuck back there though in the window. Would you really want a snowman looking in on you like that? What if it was like a child molesting snowman? That would not be cool with it. Alright, getting towards the top of the table. Which means we're getting closer to the end. I want to say I fell off the top of or something up here a couple times. I'm not sure what I actually fell off of, but getting a really good view now. We're going to be passing by that creepy snowman anytime. Looks like we're going to be going over the piano as well. So afraid of failing right now. Gonna take my time.
and just taking my time making sure I don't fall off for any reason I feel like if you go 30 miles per hour somewhere around here it's definitely going to kick you off the track which I'm pretty surprised I haven't tipped over yet definitely thought I would have done it at least once or twice Very steep incline. Nice view of the room as well. Let's go ahead and get stopped. And you can see it spells out Merry Christmas right there for all the kids when they come out. It says, great work. The blocks are assembled correctly. The Christmas message is ready to greet the family in the morning. Good job. Well done. You have completed the scenario successfully. And let me take a quick look at the time. About 30 minutes. So did all five scenarios in 30 minutes. This is the Christmas special with the Middle Age Gamer. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please, please subscribe when you guys get a chance. Comment on the YouTube videos. I don't care if you tell me what you got for Christmas or what you're drinking tonight um, hopefully shots of whiskey or beer or whatever you're into but uh, thanks for watching again making quite a few more videos and again check me out on twitch tv this coming saturday i'll be doing a live stream of whatever you guys suggest or want to see as far as routes and um, locomotives anyways check you guys out next time